Awesome. Um, so thank you very much for coming, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Matt Brown. I'm the sales director for Trustpilot in the UK. Um, with me, I've got Catherine Rees from Henry, and I have got Paul Kirby from Trustpilot as well. Um, so we'll do a bit of a, a Q and A today between between Trustpilot and, and my Henry. Um, so I suppose we'll start with you, Paul. Um, why don't you give us a little bit of uh, introduction to yourself and, and Trustpilot? Yeah. So hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Paul. I work on the Enterprise Customer Success Team. Uh, been at Trustpilot now for four and a half years. Hopefully, most of you know Trustpilot by now. Or if you were travelling in, you saw Trustpilot on the tube, on the bus, and even on some of the stands around here. So a little bit like, just more about Trustpilot is, um, in total now we've got, so we're a world um, review platform, but now we've got 230 million reviews on the platform, um, and 52 of those re uh, million reviews have come in the last 12 months. So we're growing exponentially. Uh, we're now getting 9 billion widget impressions every month, and we'll go through what the widgets look like uh, when we go through this and look at Henry. Uh, but we're a place for customers to come and leave reviews, but also a place where you as businesses can learn from your customers and build that trust. And it doesn't matter um, if you're a startup or an established brand, you can still harness those reviews and put that trust online. And we're going to look at uh, my Henry and how, how they've done it throughout this. Awesome. Thanks, Paul. Um, I mean, Catherine, with, with over 15 million vacuum cleaners sold, um, you know, I think everybody here recognizes the, the my Henry brand. But um, it'd be great to get an overview of yourself and again, maybe a bit more about the company. Um, yep, so my name's Catherine Reese. I've been working in e-com for about 10 years now, uh, although previously I worked in events, doing ticket sales and things like that, so still involving online transactions. For the last five years, there's been a, a little red vacuum that's been very present in my life. Um, the, uh, Henry is one of the UK's m most popular vacuum cleaner brands, or the most popular vacuum cleaner brand. We're actually made by a company called Pneumatic International, and we're based down in Somerset, where we're still designed and made on site in the UK. Um, we, the, we were founded in 1959 by Chris Duncan, who's still very active in the business and is on site quite, uh, most days, uh, at making commercial um, vacuum cleaners, which then expanded into a whole range of commercial equipment, which a lot of you have probably seen our trolleys in your hotels this morning. They are in most of them. I opened my door this morning to a pneumatic trolley, which was just great, first thing. Um, but in 1981 was when it really took off, which is when Henry was uh, launched. As company legend has it, um, Henry was uh, conceived of during a trade show, much like this one, by some board reps on a stand who had a, va a vacuum and drew a face on it. And, that, and then Henry was born. So then we've gone from, gone from strength to strength. Um, but we never actually sold direct until 2018, where we made our first tentative steps into e-commerce. Um, played around with it for 18 months, then relaunched the website in January 2020 with Trustpilot. Awesome, thank you. Um, Paul, uh, over to you, I suppose. In terms of like, why do you think social proof, you know, such as reviews, is, is so important in, in the buying experience nowadays? Um, so we all know um, people are more careful now with their money, especially the last couple of years. Um, so the research that we've got at Trustpilot is people are now looking at reviews and spending longer to actually purchase. So they're looking on websites, looking at your Trustpilot reviews uh, and seeing if, if they actually want to part with that money. Some of the research we've done, we found that 79% of consumers will trust the brand more if they've got Trustpilot on their website. And I'm sure many of you here as well um, have voice of the customer surveys or NPS surveys. So you know internally that your brand is good. That, you know, but how do customers know your brand's good? So you need to be using a public platform like Trustpilot so you can say, look, we're rated X and put it on your website. You would then use that throughout your customer journey. So on the website, in social, uh, digital ads, uh, and also out of home, and just building that trust um, throughout, throughout for all your customers. Yeah, and I suppose, Catherine, what, what then prompted you to invest in reviews at MyHenry? So as, as Paul said, we all know social proof is one of the most important decision makers in transactions. Um, most e-com platforms come with a review system of some sort. It's usually pretty basic. Everybody, is, we've said, or everybody in the UK at least, knows Henry, but they didn't know they could buy from us direct. That was a completely new proposition for us. And a lot of our customers, they maybe had Henry's as a kid, or their parents did, or they've seen them somewhere else, not had one themselves. Maybe they need a little bit of a refresher of Henry. So we knew, no, knew we needed a, a 
review platform and we wanted one with a with branding that was just as recognizable as Henry and that would have a bit more utility than um, just being on the website or just powering Google Shopping. Awesome. Um, so let, let's go back to the start of the journey with the, with the two companies, right? So Paul, maybe you can tell us a bit about, you know, how, how Why Henry was first set up at Trustpilot, you know, and how they started to invite customers and really embed their, their reviews throughout that customer journey. Yeah, so it was uh, 2019, I, uh, Henry signed up to Trustpilot um, and I onboarded them uh, with Catherine, so worked with her ever since. Uh, but we knew it was important to get a volume of reviews straight away. So we were, we were starting fresh, a fresh profile. Uh, we did what we call a kickstart, so we invited all their customers from 2018 to, to when they signed up that hadn't yet had the opportunity to leave a public review. We knew, you know, we knew internally that Henry was a love brand and very positive, we wanted to promote that on Trustpilot. So we did a kickstart to boost those reviews straight away. Uh, then what we did after that was set up automation. So we used something called automatic feedback service. And then simply what that means is every time someone purchased on my Henry, then they would get an invitation to leave a review on Trustpilot. Uh, what we also did was use two types of reviews. So you've got service reviews, which sits on the public Trustpilot profile, and they count towards Google seller ratings. So any paid ads you're doing, will get gold stars in those service reviews. What we also wanted to do was product reviews, because everyone knows my Henry, but they've got lots of other products as well that aren't as familiar. So we started collecting those product reviews. And with product reviews, you get uh, benefits on organic search results, and you get organic stars in, uh, in Google uh, search results. So what we started doing straight away was build up the trust score. You know, No surprise, Henry is loved, so we've got a good trust score straight away. And then these are service reviews. So we started putting service reviews uh, straight on the website. Nice plug for the sale. And, and, then, and then product reviews too. So service reviews are completely separate. They sit on Trustpilot and we put them there. And then each single product will get its own one. Uh, the way we set that up too is they would get the service review seven days after the customer's purchased. And then we'd do a separate product review two days after that to make sure that they've actually used that product um, and, and give it a better review. Awesome. Uh, Catherine, what do you remember about that, uh, that setup? Not a lot, which means it was went very smoothly. And I think we all have those suppliers, your favorite suppliers, the ones you don't actually have to talk to that often. And Trustpilot is one of those things where it just works. It was a really easy onboarding. We're running um, Adobe Commerce Cloud. It started running straight away, and we, were, we had reviews on every product within a week or two, I think, even some of our lower selling um, ranges. Amazing. Um, Kathy, you guys have recently launched a, a new product. So um, what, what, what role did uh, reviews play in that? So this time last year, we launched a, a stick back called Henry Quick, who uh, moves, moves dust with no mess, no dust, no fuss. Um, and that he's, as a stick back, it's a completely new product for us, completely new product category. So we knew, as we said, everybody loves Henry. Everybody knows the little red back. Even Hetty is sort of less well known. Um, she is the same as Henry, she just has eyelashes, if you like eyelashes. Um, but the stick back was a completely new, new territory for us. And the website itself was still pretty young. So they, again, people not quite so used to buying direct from us, but they're very used to Argos. So we knew straight from the start that we needed that social proof, that uh, extra 79% um, conversion rate. Um, so we planned right from the start that as soon as we got those product reviews that they'd be embedded within our advertising, uh, within our messaging on site, um, uh, and through our digital ads agency. Um, this uh, has actually borne fruit as we have recently been checking our, um, our visitor statistics and actually four times as many customers are viewing the project, product review widget on the Henry Quick page as they are Henry. They are definitely checking to confirm that, you know, that they are going with the crowd, that other people have tried this new thing and that it does work for, for, him, for them. Um, as you say, we, we showcase our reviews. We pick, we pick the best review every couple of months. It goes on in full on the bottom of the page. And then we've got the, the native Trustpilot widget just embedded throughout the site. And, and in the last year or two, we've started getting photos as well, which is, is a great addition. Uh, it has worked so well as well. We've actually got another product coming out next month and we'll be doing exactly the same going forward. Awesome. Um, Paul, you were also involved in obviously this, so anything to add on, on that? Yeah, I guess the setup was the same. Like We just wanted to collect automatically straight away. But what we did was shorten the delay. 
from when the actual invitation went out because we knew we wanted to get reviews as soon as possible. So we made that slightly shorter uh, for a couple of months and as soon as we had a handful of reviews, we just put that straight on the website. And as Catherine said, um, yeah, it's worked and more customers are actually viewing uh, the widget as well than on the other, other products. Awesome. We touched you on that, and obviously where you guys are using um, kind of those those reviews. But Catherine, where, where where do you guys traditionally put your reviews and, and use them? Yeah, the, we've got, as you said, um, when when we were choosing Trustpilot, we wanted something with as much utility. Everybody wants as much value from any service as possible, particularly now. Um, so you know, we use it on the website, all these different places. We use it on our socials, on our advertising, on our organic posts. Obviously it appears in Google anyway. Um, our, one of our best. If you just go back one. One of our best performing social posts ever um, was uh, the, our 10,000 reviews celebration with the cupcakes. More cupcakes, please. <laughs> um, uh, but then we have, in the last 18 months or so, started using them in more places. So uh, we've been putting them on our vans. Uh, so we've got some great, massive Henry vans with big smiley faces on, so you can't miss them. Um, but they also showcase our Trust Pilot score um, I've got two types of vans uh, on the big van with a bit more detail and then um, as an accent on the smaller vans. Um, but yeah, we've also now started using, we just started redesigning our cartons and all our new cartons are now using um, Trust Pilot reviews. Um, and as each new carton comes out, we will be adding sort of more reviews. This is our George and Charles. Um, they're both wet machines. Not as many people know George or Charles, but they have actually been around since the 80s. Uh, all the original Henrys were all kings. We got had Henry, George, Charles, Harry, um, and James. <laughs> uh, but it, it has been a surprise how much we've just been using Trustpilot around the business in general. Awesome. I, I did not know that, that they were all uh, royals. That, that, that's great. Um, Catherine, any insight into, to, you know, you, you mentioned kind of potentially launching a new product. Any insight into how um, kind of using Trustpilot led to kind of that feedback led to product or consumer service? Yeah, so agent. we, uh, like I said, this has become a bit of a surprise to us as well, just how much the business has taken on Trustpilot itself. So there's one that you can probably imagine. See, our customer engagement center, they've used it as a metric for, the, for their service, it's fairly standard. Uh, but our R&D team have also used feedback um, to put through new product uh, advancements. Um, so not just Henry, although Henry looks the same as he did in 1981 on the outside. He's quite a different machine on the inside. Um, so they've used it as their for product development. Um, mar the rest of the marketing team, um, we've used it either to, to validate product messaging or to inspire some new product messaging. Um, even our IT department actually recently have used it as a benchmark for order flow. If they're getting stuck anywhere through the order um, processing journey through our, our manufacturing site, and the orders are getting held up, it's a, a good signpost for them that the, they need to work on anything. Um, there's even, uh, within Trustpilot, do you mem remember, there is a, uh, a benchmarking tool where you can compare yourself to um, other brands or sellers internally, um, which uh, has become one of our senior management's absolute favorite thing to see ever, because he can directly compare us to everybody else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amazing, thanks. Um, so a, a hotly contested topic, you know, um, ne negative reviews. Um, Paul, you know, how do we handle negative reviews? Yeah, so uh, negative reviews, always a common question we get asked. When any new customer comes on board, it's always you know, hesitant, like we don't want negative reviews. Um, but one of the things that we know at Trustpilot is negative reviews are so important and can be as good as positive reviews. We know when they come on to Trustpilot and they look for, they look for negative reviews straight away. It's, it's not necessarily bad, it's good having a negative review, so you can show how you respond as a company. And that's all they want to see. So what we say when customers come on board is like, can you respond within 24 hours ideally to a negative review? There will be times where you can't over weekends and sometimes there will be an odd case, but just be polite, like, you know, thanks for leaving the review, and then say, we'll get back to you. You can then take that review offline. Um, so yeah, that, that's the first thing we'd always say. Uh, also just invite all customers. What we did with Henry straight away was set up automation. So that meant every single customer um, received an invitation once they had purchased. And then that does mitigate any negative reviews you're going to get because there are always going to be issues. It's just how you deal with those. But we're giving every customer a, a chance to leave that review. And as you can see with them, you know, luckily here, most are happy, but we, we knew that from their internal surveys. But yeah, just invite everyone and just 
be polite and, and be prompt. Yeah, again, you know, Catherine, most of your reviews are happy customers, but you know, how, how do you guys deal with, with the few negative ones you might get? Yeah, so it's another cliche, but every negative is an opportunity for us. So when we went into Trustpilot, um, it was a good chance for us to be very honest about the business, about our products. So we wrote a load of stock responses, ad adaptable stock responses that we could hand over to our customer care team. The vast, vast majority of them actually never got used. Uh, but it de did mean that everybody was prepared for anything that we could foresee that could possibly come up. Um, it, um, so it, it's just being prepared and being honest with them. I think we've heard a lot about sort of authenticity around the, the talks in the last two days. And it's just being tr being true to your brand and yeah, being honest about what you're doing and what you're um, uh, selling. Um, I think most of us, uh, when we're online shopping, like a, a 5.0 score can sometimes be a bit sus more suspicious than a low score. Just wondering what's going on. Because when you're at scale, negative reviews are going to happen. Um, it's just a fact of life. And majority a lot of negative reviews for businesses they might be something about delivery or they're not actually about product it could be about another service um, servicing or anything else that's not actually directly related to that transaction so being able to respond to it um, in a timely manner you know, one of the metrics our CEC team do use is that uh, negative review reply rate um, and we are also very careful to categorize any negative reviews so we can take that feedback back to the relevant department or supplier or, and use it in conversations with them to, to make improvements to the service and the product. Awesome, thanks. Um, so, Paul, what's next for Trustpilot, my Henry? So hopefully more of the same. Um, we don't need to change too much because it's set up well. It's on, on the website. But for us, it's going to be getting to 20,000 reviews. That'll be our next milestone. Um, and as Catherine mentioned, there is a new product launching, which I don't know what it is yet, but... Top secret. But when it's booked in, we'll, we'll just set up automation, get that product in the catalog, uh, yeah, and start sending out um, invites. And Catherine, sorry, yeah, from, from your standpoint, what's next for us? More cupcakes. <laughs> so what we are, yeah, we're looking for our, our 20,000 um, uh, review figure. We passed 15 uh, about a month and a half ago. And we, we're just accelerating out from here, um, which is, is great to see. Um, we actually had to make a minor redesign to our website to, to accommodate all the extra reviews where it was going on to two lines recently. Um, but we are opening new channels. We've got new products coming out. And we're looking at um, syndication where we can use it with um, our other retailers. Because as much as we are selling direct, we're still s selling through traditional relationships. We'll still be in Argos, still be in Curry's. Um, still be so you can get hands on with our products and, and try them out. Great, thanks. Um, we do have some time, I believe, for, for some Q&A. So um, if anybody does have a question, if you pop your hand up and we'll get you a microphone. Um, one is coming. Thanks. I'm just curious to understand what an average response rate is. With a brand like Henry, I'm sure that you get you know, a much greater response than you might get with, um, say, a, a services organization where service quality can vary. But what, what are the parameters, sort of bottom end, top end, that one can expect to see? Yeah, um, question we get asked a lot. And I, like I say, it does completely depend on the brand and, and when you're inviting as well. It, it depends in the journey where you're going to invite. But when you first sign up, it could be anything from 1% up to 5%. Um, we won't know until we start testing it. And then what we'll do is test the timing and frequency, test the invitations, um, and then test the customer journey too. You know, is there actually, especially if you're in uh, services, uh, is it finance or? Yeah, fi finance, yeah. Finance. So then it depends if you're going to sign up when they open an account, when they make a trade or you know, a deposit, or they switch to customer service. So between 1% and 5%, depending on where you're going to go. I think Thanks. timing was something that we had to work on a bit because we found our, some of our customers could be quite sensitive. Um, so we did play around with timing and then we shortened it up when we launched Henry Quick last year. Um, but, and unfortunately, part of the human condition, people are more motivated when they've had a negative experience. But, um, so it's just getting the volume through, I think, that gets the response rate uh, up because you, you start to snowball. Great. Any others? Yeah, we've got one here. Is there anything you did to try and drive more um, photography in the reviews from customers? 
Sorry? Is there anything you did to try and drive more photography in, in the reviews from um, customers? No, because we use the uh, native widgets straight out of the box. Um, just the, the images started just appearing on our um, reviews. And I think it, you are prompted now on the uh, standard invite to leave um, uh, photo reviews. Um, so there's nothing particular we've done to prompt it, but we have started using them on social media, um, so, which I think has encouraged some because they think it might get used. <laughs> Anybody else? No? Oh, we've got one over there. Sorry, a bit of a long walk. Um, I just had a question around uh, return around adding this to your website. Is that, you know, have you been able to quantify kind of... A, Sorry, a it's just really noisy up here. Do you mind oh, if you just hold the microphone? Is this better? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Just around if you've been able to quantify, a, you know, a, a, a dollar or a return figure anything like that around, you know, before and after attaching the Trustpilot reviews to the website, I think. I know it's a hard one to answer. Yeah, it's, it's, it is a tricky one, um, particularly as we did a complete relaunch of the website as we launched Trustpilot. Um, so it's not really comparing likes with likes, but we do have that stat that uh, with our new product, Henry Quick, we have got four times as many people viewing um, the product reviews. So that people are definitely using it and um, it, the product did sell exceptionally well. Well, it still is selling exceptionally well, um, uh, more than we actually anticipated. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a tricky one to put um, a monetary factor, but we are getting so much use out of Trustpilot because of the vans, because of the cartons and all the rest of it. Great. We'll take uh, well, one last question, anybody? Go in once, go in twice. You did it too well. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome, we've answered all your questions. You're now all knowledgeable. Thank you very much for your time, um, and see you guys soon. Cheers.